Board Game Geek, Gen Con 2019. I'm here with Terry Latorco, Renegade Game Studios. What do you have for us today? We have a game we just announced by Jordan and Mandy. You may have uh, been familiar with one of their other games related with us. It was a beautiful, artful, flower-based game called Lotus. They've taken a that thematic turn. Oh, it's, it's an incredible game. Mm -hmm. But they took a thematic turn into the dark, eldritch horror side. Did they of have like a little rough patch? <laughs> I don't. You know what? Sometimes you just want to explore both sides. Sometimes of the you don't just want to be bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a really, this is an incredible mm. game. It has some elements. You'll see their fingerprints on that. But there's a whole new experience and mechanics in this game. This is Gates of Delirium. Um, and it is coming out just in time for Halloween. So if you're looking, like in October, if you're looking for something to play on those spooky days in the fall, mm -hmm. this is a delightful game. You're chasing victory points in this game. Okay. And, you know, it, you know I will, I'm not going to say, this is not, uh, this is not an inaccessible uh, Eldritch Horror style game, like right. Eldritch 19th century Lovecraft, all that stuff. A lot of people, you feel like you have to read the books and know all this stuff. No, it's pretty easy. If you can understand the storyline of, say, Fight Club, you can understand this game. In, in Shh, this... Nobody's supposed to talk about something. <laughs> We're not supposed to talk about the Gates of Blair. So we better not talk about this. So you are a, a person in this world, and there's these mysteries popping up. There's this terrors coming out mm -hmm. and you are working against them. You're trying to fight the evil that is emerging. So you're recruiting investigators and you're putting them on the map to investigate what's happening in all these places. But you're losing days. Weird things are happening. And it seems like on the days where you're losing them, you're going a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. As that happens, you're building out these gates. So you can see here. Okay, let's bring we'll these gates these. here. We'll push well, yeah, we'll push these up we'll a little bit. We'll just push this up bit. just a little bit because so we can do that. kind of like that lotus mechanic. Okay. You're building these gates up into a full gate where you're trying to essentially so little... summon <laughs> an elder god. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's it's amazing. Oh, that is so, dark. So because you are kind of living in this this mm -hmm. border of sanity and insanity, we actually have a token there that changes the game. You play either on the sane side, okay, or you play on the insane side. Now this is wood; it's actually painted because it's a really important yeah, section. Really cool. So you change which way you're going, and in the phase where you have your cards, you have a, you're doing some hand management a little bit in set collection, of course. Okay. There you go. You have a set of cards. And the insane side is the ones you play when the, the game setting is insane. insane. And when we flip over to sane, you have a That's whole other so set of cards. Cool. So it's a really interesting thing. So when you're sane, you're doing this map. You're trying to do a little, it's a little bit of map control right. on your area control. And you're, investig you're putting out investigators. And you're throwing these guys out there to figure out what's happening. When you're insane, you're building these gates and you're converting other people's investigators into cultists. So oh, it's, a, it's this is an incredible experience. There's a lot of really fun thematic elements. Mm -hmm. You can see the meeples here are just incredible. Like, right. and there's one for each player. All the investigators are different too for every color. Um, there's a lot of production value and quality in, in the game. The art is beautiful. The game mechanics are really interesting. There's a lot of different things happening and new experience for each one of them. And you don't need to know you, all of the books and all the other yeah, crazy and stuff. You know the funny thing about it is you and I are, 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 are painters. Yeah. And these meeples, you, you don't have to have miniatures all the time. You don't. No, you don't. I, and, and we're saying that. I'm saying that. I do. And like even and, if... And these are just... They're beautiful. They're, they're beautiful. The, the cut of them is really characterful, I know. right? And Look at this dude. It's kind of nice to play a game that you ah. don't have to paint to play uh, and enjoy and experience. And art quality in this game is oh, incredible. Oh, just, uh, uh, beautiful, just to show them some of these things up here. Like, I mean, look at this. These I mean, this is ridiculous. Are incredible. They are. So I am. I'm. I am totally bespitten by this game. I'm really excited. I'm going to be playing it at my. We're going. We're going to do a Halloween party, and this is definitely coming out. So when can we expect this? October. 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 
October, Halloween, folks. just in time Halloween, for Halloween. Gates, Gates of, of delirium. delirium. Terry, fantastic. Thank you. You blow my mind every time you come. Every time you bring something, it's just like ridiculous. Thank you. All right, folks, there you go. That's Gates of Delirium. It's Terry, your old pal Rob. Until next time, we'll see you soon.